<laughs> people say, is this dog good with cats? And I say, well, that would be one neurotic cat if it had to stay here. And they say, well, is it good with kids? And I said, well, they, they won't let us keep children here either. Hi everyone, I am so glad to get a chance to talk with you about something that is near and dear to my heart and that is pet adoption. I'm here with my friend Bambi who is a rescue. She was adopted from a shelter six years ago along with her sister Caramel. October 22nd is National Make a Dogs Day. It is sponsored by Subaru. Subaru is not sponsoring me, although, hey Subaru, I'd be happy to get a sponsorship from Subaru. I am a Subaru driver, and one of the reasons I chose to buy a Subaru is because of their commitment to pets. The purpose of that day is to encourage people to consider adoption and to support shelters. And so we want to support our local shelter and to encourage you to support your local shelter and to adopt. You okay with giving these away? Yeah? This was too small for you, wasn't it? So, we are going to drop by our shelter today and um, wanted to take them some gifts. Who are you ladies here to see? And, uh, they're here to pick up Zoe and Jack. <sighs> this is the best day ever for our beagles. My name is Gates Murchie, and I am a volunteer here at the Broom County Dog Shelter. All right. Okay. Get back this way. Watch out. I adopted a dog from a, sh a shelter up in uh, Schuyler County. Uh, and the people there went the extra mile. And I said, geez, you know, I'm retired. I have, you know, and, and literally what's time to a pig at this point. Um, I had plenty of time and I love dogs. So I, I came over one, one day and walked in and I said, do you have a volunteer program? And Kelly, the manager said, you're in luck. I just completed the application. How'd you like to fill one out? <laughs> so I became uh, volunteer number one uh, back uh, 2000, I think 2011. And uh, I've been coming back ever since. Keep going. Yep. Go in that back room We're again. gonna go into the back room there through the uh, yeah. see me yeah, yeah. Down. the see me underbelly of the dog shelter here. You you know I could be a retired guy sitting in the senior center doing crossword puzzles, or I could be here with dogs, and I I find being here with dogs uh, more entertaining. Oh, this is where we met them last week. Laundry. Week. Yeah. Okay. Then I'll be right out with them. A typical day here for me is to uh, arrive at about 8.30 or quarter of nine. Uh, that's when the staff starts arriving and then I can walk the, what I call the little dogs, the, the tame dogs, the, the easy to walk dogs. I bring a pair of gloves because uh, my fingers are, not, are no longer bite tolerant. Uh, and then uh, after I get that done, I go into the office and start doing things there. I'm the one who maintains the Facebook page. I have to, I print out pictures of dogs that have been adopted. I post pictures of dogs that have been found. I write up descriptions of the dogs and post those on, with their pictures on Facebook. Um, type up reports. Um, 
show dogs to people? Yeah. Well, what we're going to do, I, do you want the harnesses? Yeah, we brought a bunch of harnesses and collars okay. to find out what's going to work for them for their ride home. It goes like this. Want me to demonstrate, <laughs> demonstrate on you? It goes like this. You get to see some dogs that are just uh, great dogs. You see dogs that have been neglected or dogs that have been out for a while and that can be sad and you get to see sick dogs and you get to see uh, dogs that through no fault of their own have become vicious dogs and so there's happy parts and there's sad parts and then there are uh, happy sad parts. You know this is this is one of those happy we're happy sads. Yes. Where you go? Jack and Zoe are going home. Hooray! Yeah. <laughs> so when the beagles go home. That'll be happy sad. I'm sad they're leaping. Yay! <laughs> well, hello there, gang. Hello, hello. hello there, Sarah so and Jack. Hello. Hello. You know something's going on, huh? So, am I allowed to give them a little treat? Yeah, absolutely. Maybe start the little bonding process, maybe? Uh, yeah. Uh, she knows the sound of a zip they, lock bag. Did they have breakfast before I forgot yes. to ask? Yes, right. they, had, they had breakfast. I'll go check and see how much of their breakfast they ate. And it sounds like you walked them this morning, so... Uh, I did walk them this morning. Let's, let's try our collars. I was thinking about that. Okay. One. So... Why? She might look nice in this pink one. Do you think it'll fit her? Yeah. Let's just try. Okay. It can be in the Zoe! Hey, Zoe! In your little bit of a there's a dog door. Hey, Jack. Wow. Yeah. Hey, Jack. She's the best mom. Can we try this one? Thanks. Can we try this one? Who's that good? Try this one. I'm going to quick install this one paperwork in and then bring the. Here's Zoe. Back out. This is no place for a dog to live out its life. Uh, so they're going to go someplace and live out their life. I mean, this is a beautiful one. We're running around Main Street by the library. Um, Look what she brought for us. She brought little dog suits. Came right to the people. So they had a they had a leash they could tie to until they got me there. And that certain stuck things on. In training. Yeah. Found the training. Well. <laughs> D minus. Yeah. Let me bring him in and then I'll bring yeah, you. I'll go through my paper. Yep. Yeah. Come on, kid. Beautiful dog. Isn't mm. it? The, the question about kill shelters is a loaded question. Um, we uh, do euthanize dogs here. Uh, typically it's either on court order where the dog has proven to be dangerous and vicious and the court has said, you know, euthanize this dog. Uh, additionally, sometimes dogs come in and they are so uh, vicious and uncontrollable and unpredictable that you've got to remember at the far end of this we're trying to put a dog into a family and if the dog is not predictable if the dog is not trustworthy um, sometimes the dog has to be euthanized in addition being a public shelter people drop off dogs in various places in the, in the townships that are sick that have tumors, that have very bad diseases, and we have, you know, we, we euthanize dogs that way too. Uh, and it's very sad. And people, I think people think sometimes that the people at the dog shelter must hate dogs. And the, the, the answer is no, they love dogs. And they just don't want dogs to live out their lives in cages. Uh, don't want them to live their lives out in kennels. We get asked about time limits all the time and, and the answer is we have to hold dogs that come to us as strays for seven business days to let the owner have a chance to reclaim the dog. After that then the dog gets a temperament test and if it's an adoptable dog then the dog is available to be adopted until the dog is adopted. Or, and then this sometimes happens too, the, the dog changes radically. 
uh, and that happens. It happens infrequently, but it does happen. But the dogs stay here. We had uh, Ginger stayed with us over a year. You know, sometimes I think people think it is the uh, the dog shelter of our gang comedies and Lady and the Tramp, and it's not that at all. The place is immaculate. The dogs are well taken care of. They're fed. They're watered. The volunteers take them for walks and give them attention in addition to doing all the other things the volunteers do like uh, laundry and paperwork and sweeping and mopping and all of you know picking up picking up poop which is a big part of what we do is picking up poop come here Pops. come here Zach Jack I mean it's not Zach it's Zoe here we're putting you on a leash bud come here look at Oh yeah. Come here, puppies. Alrighty, Jack and everybody. One, two. Oh, <laughs> if you've lost a dog, the dog did not betray you. Dogs don't live as long as we do. So, you know, fill that hole in your heart. Uh, with a new dog. Come on now. The other thing you could do and, uh, and is advertise. And you hear someone say, I've been thinking about getting a dog. And so we're going to go up to the breeder and, and you can say, have you thought about maybe going down to the dog shelter? Oh, so all, all they've got is, you know, they've all got mixed breed dogs. Oh, we've had everything. A Greyhound, Great Danes, Cavalier King Charles, Spaniel, Tibetan Terriers for the love of Pete. Two AKC registered beagles. You can get anything you want at Alice's Restaurant. Doesn't cost anything to visit the dogs of the shelter. Come do it. V visit them and see who's here. Uh, I had a gentleman walk in one day and said, well, I just started looking for a dog. He got halfway down the first aisle. He goes, that one there, that's my next dog. And he was right, you know, it was his next dog. And that's the other thing you could do is remind people that spaying and neutering should not be an option for a responsible pet owner. You won't have a male dog wandering around the house marking every fence post or every corner. You won't have a, 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 a female dog in heat. You won't have uh, the neighborhood dog standing in your yard going, you know, can Fifi come out and play? <laughs> Sometimes you, well, I don't want, you know, I'm not going to cut my dog. I said, we're, this is, we're neutering the dog. We're not neutering you. Let's, <laughs> let's, get, let's kind of get that straight to start with. And, and then, because uh, we have plenty of dogs. Let's go for a ride. Is it time? Yeah. It all, it's only, let's go, buddy boy. Come on. This is going to be so wonderful. All right. Let me go. Are we going through the... You're going to go through the garage way out. Yep. Come and on, so me. it's to the left, and I will carry their stuff out to the car. <laughs> <gasps> oh, somebody's know happy. This. Oh. Know this. I'm so glad you're here to get all this. <laughs> I tell people it's $225, and uh, what comes with that? I said tuition books and fees, but it's... A it's the spay, neuter, microchip, up-to-date shots, Bordetella vaccine, collar, leash. Coupon for a vet visit, going home food, warming medicine, etc. Oh, she's ready for a ride. You can, put oh, one yeah. of, you can put that stuff in the, put all this in the back, right? Yeah. You're not going in the trunk, honey. We're always looking for committed volunteers. People who, when they say are going to be here, are going to be here. Uh, we are always looking for uh, people who can, uh, are capable of walking the big dogs. I mean, if you can, because the dogs that are here want to get to the yards and they're strong pullers. So we're looking uh, for people who can do that. As I said, I can no longer do that. My feet don't work right. And, uh, uh, you know, we don't, we don't need some frail elderly person being dragged by a dog down to one of the play yards. And it doesn't have to be hard, you know, folding laundry does nothing but give you exercise. <laughs> You go, buddy. I got huh? your handle. Okay. Come on. You want a little boost? Come on, you want a little boost? Uh, uh, okay. There we go, big boy. All right, we're closing the door. Look how happy they are. Stay. Bye, buddy. Oh, 
She's in the front. <laughs> I know. I'm gonna get her into the bed. Support your shelter. Bring food for the dogs. Cleaning supplies, bleach and, and uh, laund liquid laundry detergent, and durable toys. You know, people bring in soft toys, and and we end up cleaning up fuzz everywhere. Uh, blankets and sheets, and, and no, no, no down comforters because that's just spectacular. Uh, but durable toys, the Kongs, the Nyla Bones, the the, the ones that the dogs can enjoy for a while. We'll let you know how it's going, okay? Okay. No, thank you for taking care of them. Well, yeah, it was <laughs> tough. <laughs> well, why would we ever? No, you... Why would we ever be nice to dogs like that? Thank you. So, I'll, I'll let you know. How thank you. Let okay. me know. Thank, thank you good. for helping and um, being here and my delight making this all happen. Good luck with everything. That's an exciting day. Bye bye. So nice to meet you. Nice to meet you.